Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day three through five. <laughs> yeah, welcome to day three through five of uh, of the forty day fast. If you're listening to this on Spotify, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're listening on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, wherever you're listening to this at, uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I appreciate you. Uh, as we are going through a 40 day fast right now where we are getting rid of all social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Twitter, everything. And we are just locking in for 40 days and we are fasting uh, to get closer to Jesus. All righty. <laughs> um, here is day three through five for me. Uh, it has been not challenging in the way of I want to download social media, but challenging in the way of I'm, I I want to know what's going on. (laughs) You you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't like being uh, out of the, out of the loop about certain things and whatever the case may be, whether that's going on with my personal growth and business on different social media platforms or whatever the case is. um, I hate being out of the loop. I hate, being uh, a misinformed or not informed at all uh, about what's going on. And I think over these last like four ish days or so um, I have just been learning to have peace uh, about everything. Um, Not that I haven't already been a peaceful guy or uh, been a guy that, um, uh, that, that wants to keep the peace or bring peace into a situation, whatever the case is. Um, I've just found myself wondering what's been going on. And, um, again, just a lot more about personal stuff than anything else about personal growth and personal brand stuff and everything else like that. Um, but just to have peace, uh, in, in, in any situation, I think is super important, but especially when it comes to just having the peace of God over every situation, um, in our lives, whatever they may be small, big in between, it doesn't matter. Uh, He wants you to have his peace. And I just felt like I needed to come on here and say uh, that the, the peace of God uh, is ready for you. Um, Like, I I, I don't know what situation you have found yourself in, or you find yourself in, or uh, situations that are going to pop up in the future, but his peace is going to be with you wherever you go. As a matter of fact, um, the Bible says it like this in Philippians four, starting in verse six, don't be anxious about anything. God, if, 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 if that was just the end of Philippians right there, we should know what to do. But in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God in verse seven, which goes beyond, which, which, uh, which passes, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds. In Christ Jesus, I think that's super important for me right now. <laughs> and anybody else that's going through this 40 day fast, um, I don't know if your heart's been racing or your mind has been racing about things or you've been worried about things or you've been trying to figure out what's been going on. Or even if you're curious about fasting or if you're doing whatever fast you're doing, uh, if you're if you're doing it's not doing a digital fast, but you're fasting from food or you're fasting from whatever, um, have peace that God's going to take care of you in this. Um, don't, don't worry about external circumstances. Don't worry about external reasoning. Uh, let, let God capture your heart. Let him, let him transform you. Let him shape you into the person that he wants you to be. Um, I think that's super important for me right now, man. I I've, uh, reasoned within myself, <laughs> uh, or I, as, as some older pastors would say, I've, I've reckoned within myself, reaching to the older audience. <laughs> out there. I've, I've just reckoned within myself over the last, um, last couple of days that, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do counseling. Not that I have like a lot of baggage or anything like that going on. I just know, um, that certain things just need to be talked out. They, 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 they need to be, um, uh, figured out amongst like-minded people, um, instead of just reckoning within yourself all the time. Um, and I think that's just what I've done over the last 26 years of my life. Ever since I could be able to, uh, uh, to, to, to think within myself. I, I think I've always done that. I've always just, uh, not talked it out with anybody. And so 
I think now's the point where like I need to just go ahead and get it out there. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, just about every situation. And if I'm being honest, I don't know what's going to come out of counseling. If you've ever been to counseling, put your experience in the comments, wherever you're listening to this. This is my first time ever going to counseling. <laughs> I've I've never even thought about going to counseling. Never and never have I. I don't think I ever would have if it wasn't for me being in the season that I'm in right now, going to the church I'm going to and everything. I, I wouldn't have even thought of going to counseling. Wouldn't have. Would have never thought about it. Um I just think that now is is the perfect time to do it. And in in a season where God is literally just telling me to slow down to think, to process, to figure out what to cut out, to figure out what to keep in, to, uh, to, to do just all of these sort of things. Um, I think now is where this is like the perfect time for me to just go ahead and just slow down and just to go sit down (laughs) and, and, and go to counseling, which I never thought I would do. If I'm being genuinely honest, I never in a million years would have pictured myself even thinking about going to counseling. I mean, just even the thought or the idea of going to counseling is just like, dude, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's super important. Um, I, f- I feel like I need it. I'm, I'm not trying to strike against anybody's profession. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like that. I just never would have thought that I would be going. Um, but I, but I, I do think it's very important. And uh, after reasoning with other people in my life as well in this season i think it's the perfect time for me to just to just go and to just see what it is uh so i plan on going if you're watching this video when i drop this video on a friday i'll probably go my first session will probably be next friday so that's what day today's the fifth day so what's that day 10 or is that day 12 or something like that either day 10 or 12 anywhere in between there you'll see a video out boom on that day boom <laughs> but your boy has went to counseling by that time um but yeah I, I i i think it's super important to get around a christian counsel that'll help you talk situations out and go through that stuff but that also brings the peace of god in your life when you can talk it out through other people and to other people and get other eyes and perspectives on your situation of what you've gone through and what you've experienced in life i think it's super important um so yeah man I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to go. Uh, I, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know who the dude is. That's going to be whatever, or the girl or whoever, but your boy is officially in counseling. I don't know how that's going to be, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you. That that's just kind of stuff that I've been learning, uh, this week over the last couple of days. Um, it's just having God's peace. And just recognizing the little things and the little wins. Cause I'm such a I'm such a big picture person. Like I'm looking years down the road, like like at, to what I'm building, to what I'm trying to build, to what I'm growing, yada yada, whatever. I'm looking years, like years down the road. <laughs> like I, I don't really look at what's in front of because I, I know that stuff is gonna get taken care of. I'm looking years down the road. And I think that is trying, like all that's coming back to, well, maybe you should just like focus on what's in front of you. (laughs) Like, like, cause it's so hard for me to do that, to picture the little wins. I'm so, I'm such a big win, a big picture person that it's so hard for me to, to focus on the, the small wins. I think that's just because of what I've done in my career so far. I call it a career for those of y'all just tuning into this, uh, digital, I call my life a career. Like that, that, that's literally how I, I view life like i view life as you're treating it like it's a career like you you want people to look back at your life and be like dang like i want to do that or i want to be that i'm i'm just a legacy person and a and a and big on image and uh and things like that which i found that out but just a side note i found that out because i i finally took an enneagram and 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 i'm a and i'm a three (laughs) as a matter of fact this is the this is brand new news to me (laughs) <laughs> I've never taken an Enneagram ever in my life. Um, but one of my, uh, uh, one of my good friends, she like told me to take it. 
well, a lot of people have just been telling me to take it, but she really like told me it was like you might want to like take that. <laughs> so like, uh, this is what a three is. I and like I'll just read it to you. This is just news to me. I got to bring it to somebody, so I'm bringing it to y'all. Um, a three is also known as the achiever. Is a personality type that is char- characterized by a focus by a focus on success and accomplishments. People with this personality type are often goal oriented, image conscious, hardworking, charismatic, motivating, status conscious, uh, inattentive to feelings. And yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. So I, I didn't realize <laughs> I didn't realize how powerful the Enneagram is. <laughs> but that's just but anyway, that that opened my eyes to a lot about just me as a person because almost everything in that is me. Um, but anyway, I digress. Going back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, but just like getting around godly people is is huge. I think so. Uh, that that's just one thing I've been learning over these five days as I'm walking you guys through um, this five days. I haven't been tempted to download social media. If I'm being honest with you, I've been getting back in the gym a little bit more. Um, getting back on my two a day grind. I I had completely stopped going for a little bit, um, but I've gotten pushed by another good friend of mine who I work with. And so, uh, yeah, I think that this stuff is going to be big for me uh, just to get back on the horse. um, Cause Oh, side note about this working out stuff. So I told myself eight months ago, that if I if I stopped working out, then I was never gonna work out again. And here we are back at it again. So <laughs> so cause I had I had got off the horse for a while and then it was like, no, nah, you need to get back on the horse. You're you're you are too image conscious, number three. <laughs> you're too image conscious, bro. You need to get back on the horse and get back to working out. So um <clears throat> which is which is absolutely true. Anybody out there that's contemplating their health, please uh get in the gym. It's it's not the ultimate medicine because we know Jesus is the ultimate medicine preach, but uh, it it is it helps <laughs> a lot. And with me trying to hit a goal very fast, uh, as I have a bet on the line, not for money or nothing, but I I just have a bet on the line as well. Your boy is hitting the gym hard, <laughs> so uh, keep your boy in uh in, in your prayers, please. Um, that's gonna be needed. So, but yeah, this gnat is getting on my nerves. Um, but yeah, uh, let's pray and then we'll close this thing out. God, thank you for your peace that passes all understanding, uh, that transcends all reality. Lord, that 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 just that we can uh, get a glimpse and a taste of your peace uh, in our lives. Lord, help us to submit to you in your way, so that way we find peace. Uh, instead of us going outside of your way and your will for our lives, Lord, where everything is hectic and chaotic, we choose to stay in your will and in your peace uh, and, and and in your freedom. So, uh, God, we, we love you. Uh, thank you, Lord, for your word. Um, that's sharper than any two-edged sword, God. Uh, we love you. It's in your holy and precious name. Amen. Amen, amen. This is day three through five. <laughs> we are making it so far no urge, which is great. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate you and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Peace.